Okay, folks, I'm excited to share this one with you. This is my new Superboy. Uh, for those of you who remember Superboy from the rise of the Superman, the uh, the death of Superman and the, the Superman, Cyborg Superman, Steel, Superboy, and the Eradicator, uh, this is the Superboy. I, I chose to keep some aspects of this figure simply because it looked too cool uh this was was made from a harry potter uh a todd mcfarland's harry potter figure uh let me see if i can get the box here i threw the box away but let me see if i can get it okay so this was a this was a todd mcfarland's harry potter this is what he used to look like so this was harry potter as you can see here, this was this was the box. So I bought this on Amazon because I had been wanting a Superboy for a long time and I couldn't find anyone who was, you know, suitable. But I seen this Harry Potter and I'm not a fan of Harry Potter, so I wouldn't have bought these figures just to buy the figures. But uh, I seen this Harry Potter and I was like, "Oh. Oh, those are really well designed specs." So I, I like the, the specs that he used, plus they look like Superboy specs. Because uh, Superboy had the round John Lennon looking specs. For those of you who know who John Lennon is, he was a, uh, a band member for the Beatles. John, John Lennon was one of the main Beatles. Um, and then, of course, you had these. Let me see if I can get my fingers in the, in the picture here. You had these uh, cuffs here, right here. For his for his hands and if you notice that's his jacket that's his jacket going over his hands uh, and then I added to the, to the jeans to the jeans I added the boots so let me sh let me show you the, the figure so this is the before this is Harry Potter before and then this is the after and this is Superboy so as you notice I gave him some boots I gave him his boots and his buckles around his boots and it's trying to focus on my other freaky figure over there uh, but I kept his jeans because I liked the idea of Superboy wearing jeans I didn't much care for the spandex I mean, it's cool and I could have painted these red I guess but it would have looked tacky so I chose not to and I chose not to uh, do anything with his shirt here because it matches it matches his jeans so I figured this was a really cool look. You know, the, the biker boots over the jeans. You got the buckles on the biker boots. Uh, and of course, he's wearing that leather jacket. But as you can see, Harry Potter, it wasn't leather. It was like a, I don't know. It almost looked like a corduroy. But this, I turned it into leather. I, I gave it some silver on the zipper. So I painted the zipper. Um, I added the Superman symbol. I'm not 100% pleased with the symbol itself as... In the last time when I did a Superman symbol, I wasn't 100% pleased with it, so I redid it. I don't know if I'm going to do that, but uh, man, I'm, I'm loving this. I am absolutely loving this because you can see here, let me see, right here, you can see where his jacket cuffed off here and his fingers just kind of sticking out a little bit, but it worked perfect because Superboy had those gloves that looked like that. He had gloves that looked like that, so it's, it's almost like Todd McFarlane said oh you know for those of you guys who, who like to modify figures here's harry potter that can be t easily turned into a superboy <laughs> i know that's not what he was thinking when he made this figure but oh my gosh you couldn't ask for a figure more easily crafted into superboy than this one i mean who would have thought harry potter could be molded into superboy and of course i heated it up with a heat gun i heated the head up and i cut his hair right here to match Superboy's mid cut and then I cut the back as you can see and I gave instead of the the typical yellow symbol Superman symbol that I gave or that he had on his Superboy uh, uh, jacket I gave him this graffiti style Superman symbol because I thought you know with the leather jacket and the biker boots and the jeans I thought this would look really cool and it did it looks really cool it looks like he he's just a teenager and he spray painted his jacket you know because he's Superboy 
you know, who pretended to be Superman during the uh, the death of Superman. So as you can tell, this this turned out really cool. Uh, he did have these little cuffs in his arms, uh, part of the jacket. Let me see if I can get those. And of course, he you know Harry came with his wand, which I'll probably use some on something else. It looks kind of like a Demolition Man puke stick. For those of you who know who know what Demolition Man is, uh, it looks like the puke stick. But anyway. So here's the cuffs that were supposed to go on the jacket, you know, in, in between the jacket and the arms when you take off the arms. So these are the cuffs. That's what they look like, and they go in between the arms of the jacket. But I figured this would look better, and it does. It does. It looks a lot better without the cuffs. So it just it looks really sweet. I'm very pleased with it. Um, of course, I painted his shirt here blue and I painted the line on his shirt right there blue and then I painted his glasses to match that of Superboy's uh, I also tinted his hair black you know so he's got that dark tint to his hair and I just think he looks really just just kick butt so I think I did a really good job what do you guys think uh, you can let me know in the comments below tell me hey Man, that's an awesome Superboy, or oh, man, that sucks. I wouldn't have used a Harry Potter or whatever. You know, just, just leave a comment. I don't care what it is. It helps with the algorithms. Uh, and don't forget to like and subscribe, of course, and hit that notification bell to see all my videos in the future and to maybe see if I'm going to do something with this symbol. So until next time, and we're still waiting. We're still waiting on the the results for the random toy challenge from Dollar Tree, the Dollar Tree random toy challenge. Um, people chose the hippo. Okay, they chose the hippo in the comments. And I've been trying to... Okay, here's the deal. Let me tell you really quick what happened. So, people chose the hippo. I went and I tried to do a video on the hippo, but I was trying to do a make the custom on the hippo while doing a video. And it didn't turn out. The video actually turned out crap. Uh, I was trying to work with some new green screen software and it didn't work. So I had to just completely trash that. Well, now I have a project without the original look. So uh, I don't know if you all remember the way the, the hippo looked, but I'm going to have to go buy another hippo just so I can have a before and after comparison. So just give me a while before that, you know, so I can go get another hippo from Dollar Tree. Uh, it has to be the same one because otherwise it's not a it's not a proper comparison So I'm gonna go get another hippo from Dollar Tree uh, Sometime and here lately they've been out of them So I'm waiting for a new shipment as most people in the world are waiting for shipments Waiting for a new shipment of hippos so I can go get another hippo and do a before and after comparison on this uh, this new project this uh, Dollar Tree random toy challenge project uh, but until it's done you guys are more than welcome to watch some of my other videos. And uh, thank you guys for watching so much. You know, you, you're really helping out our channel. So thank you for watching. And until next time, I'm Dr. Sketch. Keep sketching, y'all. Keep sketching.